the chief election officer shall notwithstanding anything in any written law be subject to the direction and control of the commission. The fact remains that the circumstances surrounding the declaration of the results of the March 2, 2020 elections are contextual. As just concluded, given the decisions of the Court of Appeal and the CCJ, the recount cannot be considered to be invalidated, at least not at this point in time. In this context, the Section 841 declarations can no longer be considered useful. Hence, while the CEO may be expected to act independently, he cannot be a lone ranger, so to speak. I agree with the submission that Article 172 2B can be construed to mean that GCOM is not to act on the advice of any person or body external to the commission. I do not agree with the submission that the CEO has a constitutional mandate under Article 177 2B. It is the chairperson and GCOM that have the constitutional mandate. The CEO is a functionary of GCOM pursuant to Article 161A and Sections 2 and 7 of the RPA. Section 18, which is repeated in Order 60, merely confirms this and the obvious for the avoidance of doubt that the CEO cannot act on his own. In this regard, he has certain duties as regards tabulating results as provided for in Section 96 of the RPE. Section 18 is therefore not unconstitutional as being in conflict or in tension with Article 177. And as noted earlier, the CCJ also stated in paragraph 41, that any allegations as alluded to by the CEO can be addressed by way of election petition. If it is considered, sorry, if it is the considered opinion of the CEO that in the face of Order 60, he can produce a report based on the Section 84 declarations, then one would expect that he must be guided accordingly by GCOM. This, the evidence discloses, the chairperson has sought to do via the letters transmitted to the CEO. Thus, as determined by the CCJ, unless overturned by a court in an election petition, the only data that could be used for the declaration of the results of the elections would have to be the recount results or data. For the reasons outlined, the 10 declarations cannot be resurrected at this point in time. In this regard, there can no longer be an impasse between the, between the chairperson and the CEO as to the effect of Article 177 2B and Section 96. For the avoidance of doubt as stated in Section 18, the CEO is subject to the direction and control of the commission. In this regard, I refer to paragraph 14 of the CCJ judgment where it is noted that by section 18, the CEO is, quote, mandated to be subject to the direction control of the commission. <laughs>